not read. Now, I did this to make a little explanation. Now, look at the position of this feature. It is very close to the boundary between grid 2 and grid 3. But in this case, it is farther away from the boundary. So that means the positioning of this is not very correct. So, if you notice that, you wipe it off and, and do a correct work. This is a, a more correct representation of what we have. Now, let's look at this feature, the major road here, running from grid 3 to 5, to grid 3 to 6, to 5, and to 4. So you follow it accordingly. That's 6, 5, down to 4. Down to 4. Look at it carefully. Mark out all you need to mark. And let the representation be appropriate. Now, the next feature here is the settlement that we have here. All concentrated at the sixth grid. The next feature is the river and the bridge where we, which runs from 2 down to 5. This is a symbol usually used for convex bridges in map reading. By so doing, we have successfully transferred all the features from the original map to the new map that has been enlarged by three times the original the size of the original map. Now, the, the last thing to do is the scale of the map. So, the scale of the original map was 1 is to 150,000. And to get the scale for the new map, you multiply 1 all over 150,000 by the number of times we are asked to enlarge the map. And obviously we are asked to enlarge the map by 3 times. So you multiply it by 3. If you do, if you divide or cancel out, what we have is 1 all over 50,000. Therefore, the new, the scale of the new map that has been enlarged is 1 is to 50,000. 1 is to 50,000. So you can see clearly that when we enlarge a map, the scale reduces. But when we reduce a map, the scale does what? It increases. Note that in some cases, you may not be asked to enlarge or reduce a map. 
but the scale will just be given to you and you'll be requested to produce a new scale and map based on the original scale that is given unto you. So in a situation like this, how do you know what you do or what you are supposed to do is going to be a large or reduction. Now, number one, if you are given a map and the question is study the map below on a scale of 1 is to 50,000 showing area in Lagos and draw out an outline of the area to a scale of 1 is to 150,000. That's the question. You are not asked to enlarge, you are not asked to reduce. What you do is, now they have given you two scales. The old scale is 1 is to 50,000. And the new scale is 1 is to 50,000. So the formula to do that is, you divide the old scale by the new scale. Old scale divided by new scale. And we're given that the old scale is 50,000. Whereas the new scale is 150,000. Now, if you do this division, you are going to have 1 all over 3. So now, whenever you do a division like this and you get a fraction, if your answer is in fraction, it means you have to reduce the original map by this fraction. So, if you are given this question now, and you have 1 over 3, it therefore means that you are going to do reduction. When you have fraction, it implies map reduction. And how many times are you going to reduce the map? You will reduce it by 1 over 3, by the fraction you have gotten. So now, this will be a large, I mean reduction. And if you are given another question in this form, it says study the map extract on scale 1 is to 100,000 and draw out an outline of the area to a scale of 1 is to 25,000. Also we have two scales here. The old scale and the new and the new scale. The old scale is 100,000. 100,000 and the new scale is 25,000. Now, if you divide this, what you have is going to be a whole number, which is 4. Now, if you have a whole number after dividing, it indicates that you are to do map enlargement. And how many times to enlarge the map is four times. So don't be confused when you get into an exam hall and you're not given a question and not asked whether to enlarge or to reduce the map. Just carry out this operation and if you have a whole number that tells you that you are to do map enlargement. Or if you have a fraction that tells you that you are to do map reduction and the number of times to enlarge or to reduce is dependent on the answer you have. For this case, we have four. 
meaning you have to enlarge the map four times the original size of the map. In this case, we have 1 over 3. It means you have to reduce the map by 1 over 3 of the original size of the map. Now, conventional signs are sometimes used to interpret these features. On the map you are given to enlarge on, most times below the map you will see those conventional signs we are talking about here. They all have their different meanings or interpretations. So if you look at them carefully, you will see their symbols, their signs, and what they mean written side by side. Now let's look at land use. 